If you're on a Mac, press the function key twice. And if you're on a Windows, press Windows plus H. Now your computer is going to start transcribing your voice and putting that text into any area that you would have otherwise had to type into. You don't have to buy any sort of proprietary software or pay subscription fees. I'm not sure about Mac, but on Windows, the transcription quality has been perfectly acceptable for me. But as you might expect, this is going to be difficult to code in directly because you can't simply say function main, open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly bracket, and then start typing a bunch of code. It will be very difficult to code like that. So how do you make this work? This is where using an AI powered code editor like cursor comes into play because you're going to actually speak the prompt to generate the code instead of speaking the code directly. So you're gonna describe the feature that you want the AI to build, and then you're going to submit that request, and then AI is doing most of the coding for you. And then you can simply review the code and say a follow-up prompt to modify it if there's something that's wrong. Right now I'm using Cursor to write the code, but you can also use other AI code editors such as Windsurf or VS Code with GitHub Copilot. So let's give this a try. Please add a new chat history panel to the left sidebar that is going to behave very similarly to the existing chat history component, but have the structure of the note panel and the group panel. Once I'm done talking, I can simply submit the request. Now, because I'm using cursor agents, they actually have the ability to automatically find all of the relevant files. So I don't even need to tag those files in the context, which is why I'm able to simply explain what I want to be done. And then cursor is going to search the code base and find the relevant files so that it can make all of those changes. So just to show you the panels as they exist right now, I have this notes panel and this groups panel, and we're gonna add a new one for chats. Here we go. Now we have a new chats panel in the sidebar and we can see all of our previous chats. Now if I want this to be formatted a little differently, all I have to do is go back here and simply make a follow-up request. Please modify it so that it is simple and also has a folder structure similar to the notes panel. Flipping back over here, now we see that it has a similar user experience to these other panels. So that's all there is to it other than knowing how to word your prompts and what to actually ask from the AI, which is why you should check out this video, which will tell you all about that. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.